Yeah, I think if we so. have Guy also join and then um, if any people have got any questions um, specifically about um, you know, Guy's and Daniel's experience of filming within Suffolk or any of the production processes, you know, feel free. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so one, sorry, I did promise to t tell you about the horrors of filmmaking as well as um, the, 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 the good stuff. Um, just so that you're completely up to date with what's happening on Private Peaceful, which I'm hoping um, some of you will have seen. Um, as you might have been aware, or you're not aware, um, the film did come out last year. Um, just before it came out, our distributors went bust. Um, they had actually... Uh, sold the rights to a third party without telling us. We discovered this when they went bust, and we spent the last nine months trying to get our film back off people who should have had nothing to do with it, ever. Um, we have succeeded in doing that. Believe it or not, I've had to pay to get my own film back, but we are now in control of our own destiny, and uh, the film is going to be re-released on the 31st of March, 2014. It is, of course, its natural home, being the 100th anniversary um, of, uh, of, of the war. Um, we're sorry in a way that we didn't wait, um, but uh, time is often everything in, in, our, in our business. And once you've made something, you really just want to get it out there and get it sold. Um, we probably were too hasty. We went with the wrong people. We got our fingers very badly burned. But the great excitement is that, uh, that, that we have this relaunch and um, we've got an amazing amount of interesting people involved because it is such a key text, it's such an important thing. It's, it's a film about the, the craziness and stupidity of war and it's, a, it's as much about war today and us sending young men in uniform out to fight as it was uh, 100 years ago. So it has great relevance as well, um, which is also very important in, in, in filmmaking. So Private Peaceful will, um, will, will, will live again, which is, which is very exciting. Sorry, just wanted to say that. But one of the questions that I had to Dan was, um, how was it filming the um, Hangar 10? Did you manage to crew up within the region, or did you have to also bring people from outside the region to film this film? Well, everyone came from London, yes. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I did. Um, you know, I shot the film myself. Uh, originally, we get the cameras were in the hands of the actors, but uh, it was so bad, the camera work. I mean, what you're seeing there, where it's wobbling around, that's, that's, um, that, that's obviously handheld cameras like that, but the actors, it was like literally just the floor and, and just things like that. So, yeah, everyone did, all the actors, everyone mostly came from London, yeah. Yeah, all the production did. And, and we did rent buildings out and, and put them in, and they slept there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how, how big was the crew? Because obviously well, we, we hear about... Things yeah. like the Blair Witch Project, mm. where it was mm. literally just a few people milling about. Yeah, it, it was um, at the very most 10, 10 of us. Right. Uh, there was a couple of days at Bent Waters where we had like 50 extras and army vehicles. The most expensive day of our sh entire filming, but that got cut completely. Didn't use any of it. <laughs> and that's Can the way it goes. Can you reveal what happens there? So, uh, well, <laughs> well, it was actually the scene that comes at the very end of the film, and it was um, just... Um, you might not want to reveal well, that. Well, we, we decided not to use any of it, as I said. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Um, any other questions, otherwise, um, with regards to that? One, one thought I've been having that I could possibly ask both, and it's just a... Hello. Uh, just a general reflection was post-production. We've talked a lot about production and crewing up and all that. Also, I know, Dan, in terms of your film, there was a significant investment of time in post-production. Mm. Um, I was just wondering whether or not any of that was done in the region. In your case, I'm pretty certain that it wasn't, because I seem to remember you having to travel down quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, how we could work to improve that. I don't know if people from Bruiser are here. I know they have a post-production house. But something to reflect on, the actual spend that goes into the post, right, including composition, including recording... Uh, Foley recording music stuff like that, and whether that can happen, does it happen in the region? I, I mean, I think um, there's always a human element in 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 in, in all of this, uh, as as much as as a, as a location element, and the human element, as far as me as a producer, um, is is my director, and in this case, 
Um, my director was um, an old boy who's been around the block called Pat O'Connor. Um, there was no, not a, a, an ice cube's chance in hell he was going to spend time in Ipswich um, when he could be in a swanky post-production um, services in Soho. Uh, and uh, we didn't even consider it. It wasn't even uh, on, our, on our radar. Um, I mean, I am a filmmaker, uh, a West Country-based filmmaker. I have a great affection for Bristol. Um, it, you know, it, it has a lot of, of those facilities. But we are still drawn back to, to, to London if that's what the director wants and we can afford. Now, to be honest, uh, you know, the, the, what's changing in, in, in post is happening so fast. I, I, you know, don't ask me about post. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's just a, a whole new world every, every time. What I don't want to do is spend too much money when I know that a lot of it can be done by a guy in a room to start with. That, of course, can happen up here. But I think once it gets down to the nitty-gritty, there's a real, I'm afraid, there's just such a strong L London um, pull, or for me, possibly a Bristol pull. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what the, what the answer is, I'm afraid. Um, just also uh, another question to Dan. Uh, I was wondering, uh, is it possible to reveal what the budget level was? My bu the budget for my film? Um, yes. Well, well, it's incredible how... Um, as a director, I, I hear different things, you know. But I know by the end of the shooting, it was like £250,000 spent. You know, it's, we're talking about a crew that isn't, you know, there's not lots of catering vans and, 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 you know, grips and stuff. So very different spending. But by the, by the end of the film, with all the post-production, which was done at Lip Sync on Wall Street, um, so it's £600,000, is the somewhere around there. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, one of the questions I got was, I was involved in the location for um, Ipswich for Product Peaceful, uh, from Borough Council's point of view. Just why Ipswich? Obviously, we, we thought we sold, sold a good product, you obviously, the producers and directors brought in. Why Ipswich and Suffolk? And it would be good to hear back the other way that helps, obviously, in the future. Sure. I, I mean, I think um, the, 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 the key driver was, was TAF. There's, there's no doubt about it. We, we'd looked into uh, getting trenches built down in Devon, which is where we wanted to film originally, and it was a quarter of a million quid straight off. So, um, although I've just... And uh, I suppose uh, that was my, my accommodation budget as well. Maybe we made a terrible mistake, TAF. I could have... Done. <laughs> um, so I think that we, b b the, 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 the crucial thing then was that we were still going to uh, do a, a unit move. And we'd costed that at about 25 or 30 grand to, to do the unit move down to Devon. Um, and it really was, as, as Taff said earlier, it was, it was Taff and Tracy's persistence in keeping saying, look, there's some really interesting places around here, you really should go see them, um, that, that actually led us to going, okay, we're going to, park our, our, our prejudices about Suffolk, um, which I'm afraid, you know, like it or not, you know, it, it, I don't come from here, that's what I thought it was like. I, as I said, I am more than happy to, to sh shout my head off about Suffolk now. I didn't know about it before. Um, when we arrived and I was, uh, and, uh, and Tracy started driving us from Khaki Devil into the centre of Ipswich to show us a, a location, I was like, no, 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 we're making a, a you know, World War I um, period drama. She went, just <clears throat> stick with it. And then suddenly we arrived at, at Chantry Park and then she took me to Christchurch and w they, we could almost have walked there. It was, it was fantastic. So I think that for, for us, the crucial thing, there's nothing better as a location to an extent than being near, near a, a, a big centre because, of course, you can get everything that you want or, or you know, and, and the caterers aren't stuck out in a, in a field in the middle of, of, of nowhere and, and, and everything else. So, so there was great, you know, I, I think those, those gems that you've got in the centre of town, apart from some noise issues, possibly, um, but we, we got over them. I, I wasn't particularly aware the sound man wasn't running to me screaming and saying, how did you ever come to be in this, in this inner city uh, place when we're making a, a, a period drama? So, so actually, that, you know, you've got some amazing sites um, <laughs> which are close to, the, to, to, to everything else, close to London. And, and I, I think that... Um, you know, uh, Taff and Tracy probably need a little um, 
Suffolk County Council medal to, um, <laughs> to do it. But, but I, I really think that, um, that, that, that the range and, and quality and um, uh, th that, that newness of new, that, that feeling that you're in a new location that no one else has used is, is really powerful, really strong. And what else would you have wanted that you didn't have? What things do you think the area needs? Anything that would support them? Well, uh, yeah, I'm a producer. I'd say, well, it would have been great if you could have given me some financial incentive to come and shoot here. <laughs> um, uh, I'm afraid that you know that that is in 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 the end, it's always a, a money and and time uh, equation. Um, you know, in the end, that 25 grand that we saved with not going down to Devon, the fact that we were near London so that our actors could come up and we didn't have to accommodate them, because of course, you know, I, I hate to say it, crew who are here, but you don't tend to get as good accommodation or as an expensive accommodation as the actors. So, funnily enough, the crew accommodation is often not the problem, because uh, depending on what level you are, of course, you may find yourself in, in uh, you know, like the nurses' accommodation, we, we put a load of people in, um, for the for the crew, plainly we weren't going to put our actors there. So our actors were costing us a lot more per night. So we could put them on the train and get them back down, even if it was a first class ticket. Yeah. And we bought loads in advance. You know, we we were able to um, uh, to make a, a benefit of being up here on, on those accommodation costs. Um, I think I think that the location manager felt. And bear in mind, this was in 2011, so I'm sure that things have moved on. That, as as I said in my sort of initial address, there was it, well, there wasn't too much joined up um, initially between where where did we need to go, who was signing off the contracts, how much it was going to be, and all of those kind of boring nitty gritty producery things. Mm -hmm. Um, that was probably the, 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 the one area we would have wanted to change. But in terms of you know, dealing with, with you guys and your staff and everything, it was a, it was a joy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, keep filming here in the area. <laughs>